Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to recreate this inside of Premiere Pro. And we're not using After Effects, so it's going to be an interesting one because Premiere Pro doesn't have a tracker like After Effects and it also doesn't have a roto brush. But we are going to separate our subjects from the background and we're going to also track an object on the wall. So let's go. Now inside of Premiere Pro, we have this clip and we also have a PNG of Premiere Pro that looks like this. Over, all right, so first thing, we're going to make it smaller. So we're going to scale and scale it down to a, a size that we like. And we're going to place this logo on this door. Well, the thing is, if I just place it here and press play, it's going to move along with our subject. So this is not good. So this is not going to work. Okay, so what else we can do? Well, let's just scale it up for a bit and just move closer on the image. And I see I have, we have a white dot here somewhere. I'm going to just move it a bit and place it right where the white dot begins, right here. Okay, so I'm going to make a keyframe on the position, then just move over a few frames, and then I'm going to move it over to where the white dot begins. And then again, I'm going to move it a few frames, move it to the white dot, move it a few frames, and then move it over to the white dot. Try to be as precise as possible because it's going to make a big difference. We're going to move it again and then move it to the exact location as before. And now press the H key for the hand tool to move the image over and then the V key to select the selection tool again. Okay, move over a few frames and then slide it over to the white, to the beginning of the white dot. Now move it over a few more frames and do the same thing. And now at the end of the clip, just do the same thing, move it over to where the di white dot begins. And now we're going to fit the composition so we can see what we've done. So we basically tracked it, but our subject is going behind the PNG, of course, because uh, our PNG layer is above the video. Now, in order to mask our subject, to pass in front of our logo, we have to duplicate our video clip. So press the Alt key and drag this layer up above the PNG file. And now we're going to use the color key effect. The color key is similar to the Luma key, but the difference is that it uses color to mask out instead of lighting. So just pick a color from this background and then play with the color tolerance. And as you can see, it's it's starting sh to show up. Yeah, but let's see what happens to our subject. When she moves in front of it, it's almost perfect, but let's make it perfect. So, it depends. If you want if you want it to seem like it's really in your image, you can leave these areas like they are. I think it looks good like that, but you can also uh, increase the tolerance so you can hide everything. I like it a bit like I like to show a bit of uh, of the material behind it because it makes it look more realistic. All right. So now, in order to mask uh, to mask out just these parts that are starting to show up through our subject, we need to create a mask. And for this, we are going to duplicate the layer once again by pressing Alt and dragging it up and. From this layer, we're going to erase the color key and we're just going to use an opacity mask. But uh, let's just hide this layer and go exactly to the frame before she enters uh, in front of the logo. Use the H key to move around, the hand key, then the V key and try to be as exact as possible. By using the mask tool, we are going to try to mask her face as closely as possible. All right, okay. And as soon as we have her face selected, now we're going to just press track selected mask forward and Premiere Pro will follow her face until, until the end of the clip. And we'll just hope it's a good track. Okay, now let's check what Premiere Pro did. So if we, if we play this back, it's perfect. But we can see one thing, her clothes uh, the blue from the logo starts showing up through her clothes. So what we need to do is create another mask, the second one, 
that will be only for her clothes. And we're going to draw a raw mask because we don't need it to be as precise as the face. And we're just going to manually uh, track it for a few frames because it's not that uh, it's not that important. And anyway, let's see the mask. Okay, so it's moving along with our subject. It's perfect. So we just made the mask and it looks great. And now let's style our logo a bit more because it doesn't, I mean, it's interesting, but it doesn't really fit our scene. So what we can do to further enhance the effect, we can uh, use the tint effect, drag it over the PNG, and then we're going to map the black to the darkest color we can find here in our image and white to something uh, lighter. You can pr play around and see which one works better for you. But I think this, this looks good and it's much better. And you can also change the blending mode to something like uh, screen, overlay. Yeah, I think overlay looks great. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and that you learned something new and see you in the next one. Bye.